Digital planners have taken the productivity world by storm, and for good reason. They're flexible, paperless, and compatible with apps like GoodNotes, Notability, and other note-taking tools. But here's what's even better. You don't just have to use digital planners. You can create them and sell them. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to design a digital planner for GoodNotes, step-by-step, step, and how to start selling it on platforms like Etsy or your own website. If you're creative, organized, and looking for a passive income stream in 2025, this video is for you. All the tools I mentioned today are linked in the description below. Some are free, some offer trials, and all of them are beginner friendly. Let's dive in. First, what is a digital planner? It's a hyperlinked PDF designed for apps like GoodNotes or Notability, a customizable interactive notebook with tabs, calendars, daily pages, and trackers that users write on via iPad or tablet. They can serve as daily planners, business organizers, budget tools, or student planners. The options are endless. Being digital, you create once and sell repeatedly, making it a great passive income source. Before creating your planner, you'll need a design tool for pages and layouts, a way to export to PDF, a tool to add hyperlinks for navigation, the key to interactivity, a marketplace or website to sell it, and GoodNotes or a similar PDF viewer to thoroughly test your product before launch. Next, let's explore specific tools you can use. Canva is one of the most popular tools for creating digital planners, and it's incredibly beginner friendly. Here's why Canva works so well for this. First, it's free to start, and even the free version gives you access to thousands of templates, fonts, and graphical elements. You can create custom page sizes that are perfectly optimized for tablets. A good starting point is a standard US letter size, 8.5 by 11 inches, or A4, as these ratios fit well on most iPad screens. Inside Canva, you can add shapes, text boxes, icons, and grids with simple drag and drop functionality. For example, you can use the table element to quickly create a monthly calendar grid or use lines and shapes to build your own custom daily schedule layout. Their extensive library has everything you need for planner design elements, from minimalist icons to floral graphics. When you're finished designing all your pages, your cover, your yearly overview, 12 monthly pages, weekly layouts, and daily pages, you can easily export the entire project as a single, high-quality PDF ready for the next step. The Canva Pro version is a great investment as you grow, offering features like branded kits, the ability to save your own elements for reuse, and access to a much larger library of premium fonts and graphics. But to be clear, the free version is more than powerful enough to create and sell your first professional-looking digital planner. You can even find pre-made digital planner templates right inside Canva to use as a starting point, which can save save you hours of design time. After designing your pages in Canva, the next step is to create the navigation links. This is what transforms a static PDF into a functional, enjoyable digital planner. Your customers need to be able to tap a tab for January and instantly jump to that page. The easiest, most accessible way to do this is by importing your pages into either Apple Keynote for Mac users or Microsoft PowerPoint for Windows users. Both of these presentation programs are masters at handling hyperlinks. The process is straightforward. First, you export your finished planner design from Canva as a PDF file. Then you open a new blank presentation in Keynote or PowerPoint. You will import that PDF and the software will automatically place each page of your PDF onto a separate slide. Now the hyperlinking begins. Let's say you want to create a tab for January. You would draw a simple shape like a rectangle on the side of your first slide. You can color it and add the text to John. Now right click on that shape and you'll see an option to add link or hyperlink. You'll choose to link it to a specific slide in the presentation. In this case, the slide that contains your January monthly layout. Here's the crucial part. You need that tab to be clickable on every single page of your planner. So you will copy that hyperlinked tab shape and paste it onto every other slide in your presentation, ensuring it's in the exact same position. You'll repeat this process for all 12 months and for any other sections like finances, goals, or notes. It's a meticulous process, but it's what separates an amateur planner from a professional one. Once all your links are in place, you simply go to File, Export A's, and choose PDF. Make sure the option to include hyperlinks is checked. This will generate your final interactive PDF file ready for testing. After creating and exporting your interactive PDF planner, testing is essential. GoodNotes is the top app for digital planners, making it perfect to experience your product as customers will. 
Import your PDF into GoodNotes on an iPad or tablet and check navigation by switching to read-only mode. Click every tab and link to ensure they work. Then switch to editing mode to write with your stylus, checking line quality, space, readability, and app performance. Test on different devices to catch any issues before launch, avoiding bad reviews and refunds. To stand out, consider tools beyond Canva and Keynote. Affinity Publisher offers professional desktop publishing control, ideal for complex layouts. Procreate lets you create unique hand-drawn elements like covers and sticker packs, adding value. For quick fixes, PDF Escape lets you edit broken links online without re-exporting. Use Taskade to plan your business, outline your niche, organize marketing, and track launches, treating your planner like a real project. For selling, you have two main options, Etsy and your own website. Etsy offers massive traffic and easy setup with listing and transaction fees, but handles payments and delivery automatically. Selling on your website via Gumroad or Systemi.io gives full control over branding, pricing, and customer relations with no marketplace fees. Systemi.io also handles websites, blogs, emails, and affiliates. Great for scaling. Many sellers start on Etsy for exposure, then build their brand online. This business model offers an excellent opportunity for passive income. You create your digital planner product once, and then sell it repeatedly without needing to constantly produce new inventory. The key to success lies in pricing according to the value you provide. For example, simple and minimalist planners generally sell in the $5 to $10 dollars range, appealing to casual users or those just starting out. Niche planners, such as those designed specifically for ADHD management, fitness tracking, or budgeting can command higher prices between $10 and $20 because they cater to targeted audiences with specific needs. For premium planners, which often include elaborate themes, interactive features, and decorative digital stickers, prices can go as high as $25 to $40 or more, reflecting the extra time and creativity invested. To increase your average order value, consider upselling with digital sticker packs or bundle deals. Bundles could include a yearly planner combined with wellness and finance planners, offering more comprehensive solutions that appeal to customers looking for multiple organizational tools in one purchase. Using scarcity and urgency tactics is another proven strategy. For instance, releasing seasonal planners for back-to-school periods, major holidays, or New Year's resolutions encourages buyers to act quickly before the products disappear or prices increase. Promotion is absolutely crucial to drive sales and grow your customer base. Start by creating a Pinterest account dedicated to your planners. This platform is perfect for visually driven content. Regularly post attractive planner mockups and engaging video pins making sure to use keyword-rich titles like Aesthetic 2025 Digital Planner for Good Notes to capture search traffic. Beyond Pinterest, leverage Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok to share Plan With Me videos, quick tutorials, or behind-the-scenes content showcasing how you design your planners or use them daily. These short-form videos help connect with your audience on a more personal level and boost visibility. Collaborating with productivity influencers can also expand your reach. Offer free plan in exchange for honest reviews or shout outs on their social media channels, tapping into their established audiences. Additionally, offer a free sample page or mini planner as a lead magnet to build your email list. With this list, you can nurture your customers by sending regular updates, exclusive discounts, and sneak peeks of upcoming planners, encouraging repeat purchases and brand loyalty. To recap the process, design your planner using user-friendly tools like Canva or Affinity Publisher, where you can customize layouts and graphics. Add interactive navigation links using software like Keynote or PowerPoint to enhance user experience. Test your final product thoroughly in apps like GoodNotes to ensure smooth functionality before launching. For selling, Etsy is a popular marketplace with a built-in audience, but you can also use platforms like Gumroad or Systemy.io to sell directly from your own website, giving you more control over branding and customer interaction. Promotion should focus heavily on Pinterest, short video content, influencer collaborations, and effective lead magnets to steadily grow your audience. Digital planners beautifully combine creativity and entrepreneurship, allowing you to integrate your design skills with a scalable passive income stream. With the right combination of tools, time investment, and a smart marketing strategy, you can transform your ideas into a profitable online business. All the links to helpful tools and platforms mentioned are available in the description below.
below, so there's no better time than now to start building your digital planner empire. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Work Mode Tech for more practical business tips. And let me know in the comments if you're planning to create your own digital planner. I'd love to hear your ideas. Until next time, stay productive, creative, and always in work mode.